Okay, this video is going to talk about unit prices and the better buy. Make sure you have your notes. Pause the video when needed so that you can completely fill out your notes. Let's get started. Okay, unit prices. The unit rate is called a unit price because it tells the cost per unit. So let's do this example. We want to determine the unit price for an eight ounce container of Jolly Juice. Well, an eight ounce container of Jolly Juice is 96 cents. We want to know the unit price. How much does it cost for one? So if, you, if we write our rate, it's 96 cents, because money goes on top, for eight ounces. And we want to know what is the cost for one ounce. What is this cost? So just like we do with unit rates, you're going to go from 8 to 1. So we're going to divide by 8. Do the same thing in your numerator. And we're going to have to do a little bit of math. So off to the side, here's my 96 cents. I'm going to divide by 8. It's a whole number, so I can bring my decimal point straight up. 8 goes into 9 once, subtract 1 remainder bring down the 6 and 8 goes into 16 twice with zero remainder. So the cost of the Jolly Juice is going to be 12 cents per ounce. So it's the same thing as with unit rates, this just focuses more on money. The unit price can also be used to determine the better buy. So using the Jolly Juice Orange Juice table, we want to determine the better buy. Would it be better, meaning the better price, cheaper, the better deal, to buy 28 ounces for $2.24? Or would it be a better buy to buy the 64 ounces for $3.84? So I'm going to kind of divide my paper. Whoa, that was not very good. I'm going to kind of divide my paper in half here. And I want to find the unit price for each of our options. So the first one is $2.24 for 28 ounces. I want to know how much for one ounce. So I'm going to have to divide $2.24 divided by 28. Again, our divisor is a whole number, so I can bring my decimal point straight up. 28 does not go into 2, it does not go into 22, but it will go into 224 and it will go in, I believe it's eight times. Eight times eight is 64. Eight times two is 16, plus six is 22, zero remainder. So the unit price is eight cents per ounce. Now we want to compare that with 64 ounces for $3.84. So we set up our rate. To find our unit price, we want to go to one ounce. So we would have to divide by 64. And I definitely will need to do some math. So $3.84 divided by 64. Our divisor is a whole number, so I bring my decimal point straight up. 64 does not go into 3, it does not go into 38, but it will go into 384. Mm, 6 goes, let's try 6. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 2 is 38, zero remainder. So the unit price, or the unit rate, is going to be 6 cents per ounce. Now we just compare them. Once we know the unit prices, which one is the better deal, which one is cheaper? And that would be the 6 cents. So the 64 ounce for $3.84 is the better buy. Let's do a couple more examples. Five friends paid a total of $43.75 for movie tickets. What was the cost per ticket? So we want to find the unit price. Set up your rate. The cost was $43.75 for five friends that each got a ticket, so five tickets. We want to know how much did it cost for one ticket. So we're dividing by five. I can do my division down here. We're dividing by a whole number, so our decimal point just goes straight up to our answer line. 
5 goes into 43 8 times, which is 40. Bring down your 7. 5 goes into 37 7 times, which is 35. And bring down this 5. 5 goes into 25 5 times. And now we have a zero remainder. So the cost per ticket is $8.75. At the Nacho Hot Dog Stand, you can buy a two ounce hot dog for $2.79 or a three ounce hot dog for $4.05. Which is the better buy? So we're going to have to compare the two. So I'm going to draw a line separating the two. My first rate is the two ounces for $2.79. And the other one is going to be the three ounces for four dollars and five cents. So we need to find the unit price for each option. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video and do the work and then come back and check your answer. Okay, once you do your division and divide two dollars and seventy nine cents by two, you get 1.395. Now we are talking money, so you need to round it to the nearest cent. And remember, there's a hundred cents in a dollar. That means we're going to, our answer needs to go to the hundreds place. So we look at the five and it tells us how to round this nine. Five and above, you round up. So this actually turns into a dollar forty. So this is $1.40 per ounce. Then when you divided $4.05 by 3 ounces, you got $1.35. So this is $1.35 per ounce. Which one is the better deal? That means which one is cheaper. The one that's cheaper is the 3 ounce hot dog.